In this video, I'm going to bring you guys every single Gen 3 rank from worst to best. If you guys enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe, subscribe to the video, guys. Also, by the way, this is like the most derpy avatar ever. I'm using somebody else's account for this video because I do not have every single Gen 3 unlocked. All right, so coming in ninth place is going to be Sparky. Now, something I'm going to state for this video is that I will be listing these off kind of like as if they're only going to be in their fourth stage. But please be aware, the third stage is a very common thing for people to use. It's just that in RPG itself, people normally just use the fourth stage because you get insanely high raised block not for this one this raised block is kind of terrible which is one of the reasons why it's so bad on this list but the fourth stage is definitely the stage that you know almost everybody uses when they use a gen 3 so the reason why spark is going to be so low is because it's kind of hard to use in general and the way to extend the z spec doesn't really work that well but honestly the spirit itself that you summon is honestly kind of bad and like i said the raised block on this mode is honestly kind of terrible now the third stage of sparky is honestly kind of decent but like i said i'm only going to be taking these in their fourth stage only and sparky is by far the worst because it's kind of a melee center gen 4 that doesn't really do that much damage now coming in eighth place is going to be a paul barely making it above sparky due to it being more of a ranged you know gen 3 but i will say that i do think that a paul is kind of due to in general just because it is the most basic out of all of them the way they made it it's like when you actually use it it's very kind of clear that this was the first gen 3 because it doesn't really have that high of raised block so it didn't really have the power creep of the later ones and the actual abilities that the gen 3 uses really are not that great and do not hit half the time now coming to seventh place is going to be the maru now maru is coming in here definitely the most drippy of all the gen threes i do like maru quite a lot so you know maybe that's why like look at this look at maru oh my god but maru i mean it does a ton of damage the actual tailed spirit that you summon also does a ton of damage now i will say that the q spec isn't nearly as good as any of the other q specs just because you know not only does it put you into an air combo which is honestly kind of doo-doo but the actual tail beast that you summon it has one major attack which is going to be that giant beam that it fires at the end of it i'll i'll, I'll wait for it to actually fire the beam if it does sometimes it doesn't because you know obviously the attacks are randomized but it does there it is it does fire a beam it's a stun attack it does quite a lot of damage when it doesn't actually lag this is also one of the ones where it's weird because your raised block is a lot above the tail beast so it can be hard to hit you a lot of different times because people don't usually aim above the tail beast they'll aim straight for the tail beast and they'll just miss you entirely the company sixth place is going to be karama now karama i'm going to be honest with you guys this is kind of this is another one of the drippiest tail beasts i mean like who doesn't want to be hollow ichigo but let's be real for a second here this it's kind of buns i mean they definitely made it very visually appealing so i guess if you want things vis for visual effects go feel free to get you know the gen 4 karama it will be worth your time if you guys want something drippy it also has a quite a high raised block much much higher than all the ones i previously mentioned on this list it's nothing compared to the number one on this list by the way because the raised block on that is absolutely absurd but i just don't think karama is that good in general and i definitely think it lacks when it comes to all of the other tailed beasts now coming to fifth place is going to be the alfie spirit now alfie spirit i mean like who doesn't want to be a giant slug said nobody ever um this is definitely probably the least favorite of all of the gen 3 just because not only is it not not flashy at all not only is it not very visually appealing but people generally only use this mode for the actual slow of the tail beast itself by that point why not just use one of the better tail beasts because they have better stun attacks and stuff like that but it does have a pretty decent raised block on it the z spec does actually have quite a huge slow attached to it i will say that you know all things considered i definitely think don't, don't think this is the worst tail beast in the world if you guys enjoy being a slug i mean go for it why not now coming to fourth place starting off the top four is going to be the mustang spirit now mustang spirit was actually the best for a while until happy was released just because the actual mustang spirit what the something that the tail spirit does when you summon it is it does this massive aoe effect absolutely huge aoe effect actually the number one comes very very close in the aoe size of it and in all honesty like i do think that mustang is a pretty good tailed spirit i was one of the haters of mustang by the way i was a certified mustang hater but the mustang spirit not only does a summon do tons of damage it has pretty good stun attacks attached to it but the z spec is extendable which is rare for a lot of the ones below on this list so i definitely think that this is a better tailed spirit than the ones below it i was a certified mustang hater but i have come to realize that my ways were wrong and uh yeah it kind of looks uh weird though i mean like look at it look at his forehead now starting off the top three is going to be happy spirit i mean like let's be real here you guys know happy this was the best tailed spirit for a very long time because i'm pretty sure between happy and the newer tail spirits there was months so since there was months in between when the tailed spirits were released 
least. Happy was the best for a while. I actually forgot to go into Gen 4, but not only does Happy have an insanely good fourths mode, but the third mode of Happy is honestly insanely good as well. As well with all the top three, the third mode is good for all of them. So it kind of does make sense that they're the top three. But when it comes to Happy, the actual Q-Spec does do quite a lot of damage, has a massive stun attack attached to the end of it, which obviously is a very good thing. And the Tailed Spirit itself does do stun attacks. Now, the reason why this is going to be in third place and not higher on this list is because the stun attacks of the Tailed Spirit itself are actually very avoidable, while for the top two, they're they're basically they're borderline unavoidable i mean happy spirit is kind of like a projectile stun i will also say that the z spec of the happy spirit is extendable as well also i'll show you the e spec every single gen 3 e spec is the same it's basically just an iframe and it does a small attack at the end of it Mo mainly we're going to be looking for is the weapon spec and the z spec sometimes the third mode so happy has an insanely good q spec and z spec now coming in second place is going to be octo daddy himself it's going to be the octo pop spirit honestly i'm not i'm not gonna lie some people don't like how this looks this looks absolutely nuts i do think that this is one of the better looking tailed spirits out of all of them i just think it needs a hole in its stomach when it comes to the z spec of octopops it does have a small stun attached to the end of it so you can actually attack them without them retaliating and the q spec itself the summon so let's let's talk about why this is second place the actual all right for so first of all the q spec lasts like 10 million years so you know that's obviously a really good thing i don't like that it's an air combo but that's whatever as you guys can see look at this look at what the tailed spirit's doing this is all what the tailed spirit's doing it's doing a bunch of stun attacks a bunch of damage in general i definitely think that you know when it comes to octopop it, it doesn't really leave a lot to be desired i mean like this kind of has everything you need not only that but it has one of the highest raised blocks in the game i do think shindai ren is a little bit higher than it i think number one is 100 higher than it number one is absolutely insane with how high the raised block is but octopop is a very good tail spear in general and i definitely think that you know this is what should be one of your go-to now we're in first place. Let's talk about the flying fish. Now, the flying fish, first of all, I will say this. I do think that this is one of the worst looking tailed spirits out of all of them. I think that the animation for this is kind of dog doo doo, and I definitely think it looks kind of bad. The, t the tails are cool, but I don't really like how they do the armor. But visual effects aside, let's talk about Chocho. So, Chocho, first of all, it does insane amounts of damage. The Q spec is insanely long, so it's good for team fights and stuff like that. Something that the summon will do, which is the main reason why this is number one, is it does this. This right here is one of the largest aoe sizes of any tailed spirit in the game and is it actually an extended stun attack so not only does it do a lot of damage not only is it a very very long stun but it it is a massive aoe and will help you with your combos which is very rare for the z spec itself obviously it does have a combo extender at the end of it very comparable to the mustang z spec if i'm going to be honest it's borderline the exact same but the main reason why chocho is going to be this high on the list is honestly for the summon this summon is absolutely nuts man and look at this race block this race block is so high i could jump on this vine look at this can you do that with any other mode in the game it is so high i can just hold right mouse button and jump onto a vine like that is that's ridiculous <laughs> it is massive now i'm gonna be putting this into zeroth place it's going to be the eyes in bloodline the reason why this is going to be zeroth place is because i don't really view this as a gen 3 it's just the bloodline that you unlock from having all the gen 3s which i think is one of the coolest things ever i think it's kind of like a quest system i think that there should be more bloodlines that were kind of like quests but it never was a thing in this game but let's be real eyes i mean like it's a insanely strong bloodline the c the c spec does an instant 120k damage the q spec is pretty much just infinite flight i mean like there's not really much else you would want i mean like it's a really good rpg bloodline massive m1 sizes massive aoe sizes the moves themselves are really aren't that great but the mode is absolutely god tier but yeah if you guys enjoyed this video remember to like subscribe and hope to see you next one guys peace